You know what? I do run to the gym now, though, for fun because I know you're going to crumble and I like watching you suffer. And I like, that's why I really I, like when she likes it, I like that true. your weight is lighter weight than my weight. And fuck I yeah, like that. <laughs> like but going, also, whenever you yeah. show up, she's like, make sure you film us. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like you'll get this, get this. You got it. Yeah, we got to <laughs> show, show them some the clips. Videos. Shit. Um, I didn't prepare anything, guys. I'm no, sorry. it's all right. We could put them, we could put them in there while we're like, while talking we're talking. About our workouts, you're right. You're right. You've know? already watched them. Yeah, yeah. Welcome. It's fine. We look good. We'll Our form is incredible. Yeah. I'm thinking now, if you guys are cool with it, we pivot to some fan uh, submissions. Oh, please. We Do we have any? Of, oh, yeah. We <gasps> have a, a few here. This was a hot Whoop. topic because everyone, it looks like a lot of people are dealing with. I just um, love you. Yes. It's a thing. It also, a thing. like, on top of it, sorry, but like having stretch marks <laughs> from the pregnancy. Smother yeah. my body. Hey, like I was you, already you like you earned those stretch marks. I did those are your tiger stripes, and you earned every one of them. <laughs> tiger stripes. But yeah, that with the C-section scar. There's a lot that we have to start loving and learning. Yeah. Okay, so fan letters. Fan letters. Fan letters from the mail. She looks so sweet. Who is this? Okay. Kristen. Kristen. She she says in the beginning, right? Here we go. I think it's Kristen. Hi, Megan and Ryan. I love you both. Kristen here. Um, Hi, Kristen. So I've struggled with body dysmorphia my whole life. It started when I was six years old and I was waiting in line for the water slide and a boy who was a few years older than me called me fat. And ever since then, it's been an uphill battle, mainly about every, every person has an area of their body where they're uncomfortable with. It's just, it's never going to look good. And for me, it's my stomach. And for years, almost every single day, I would lift up my shirt and just look at my stomach and just really say horrible things to myself. Um, and it wasn't until I started working out that um, I've started to kind of heal from that and realize that the most important thing is that I feel good and it feels yes. wrong, not what I look like. So it's still an uphill journey, but we're taking it day by day. Love you guys. I love you. Amazing. That She's is amazing. Sweet. That is like, like while um, losing weight, I always thought it would be like my big main focus would be like, oh, lose the weight, lose the weight. But like on top of it, I got like, oh, I feel so strong. Yeah. I feel mm -hmm. invincible. And I didn't know I would get that high from all this hard work too. So that's been a plus. And I've. So sorry that you had that at such a young age. That I remember sucks. Uh, stupid. I have those. Idiot we kid. all have something like. I mean, I do. Like grandma fucking looking at me at the island home, going, "Your butt's fat," and I go, like, "Okay, didn't know I was specified." Fat. Dad's mom. Dad's mom. <laughs> right. That grandma. She did now. She sucked. Sorry. <laughs> R.I.P. Somewhere. Bye. She would say that to you. Yes, bro. Immian. She was Damn. fucking mean to me. She was only nice to me. She sucked. Gave me um, nice mashed potato kisses. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, also, then I had a fucking boy in like middle school go. You know, you'd be so hot if you were like ten pounds lighter. And I was wearing my Hollister I little itty bitty T-shirt. That day was scarring for me, bro. I'm in that. I'm in that little. That's and I was like, I was like, I finally fit in Hollister because, you know, their sizes are negative small. And I was like, I'm going to wear this to school and be so hot. And I wore it. And that's what he said to me. And I was like, oh, no. Uh, and I loved him. I was thunder thighs in high school. No. I wish was fine. But it my I remember in grade school, I was probably in like fourth grade. This kid, Ryan, he came over to me. He goes, turn to the side. I was like, okay. He goes, hmm, <laughs> okay. you'll grow into it. Like my <gasps> nose. Like, yeah. He, I was like, oh, you'll grow into you'll it. You'll grow into it. He made fun Dude. of my nose, but I'm just like, what do you mean? Like, I was so confused. But then and the rest like, of the you night. You weren't even thinking about your nose. No, and now that's all you yeah. think about. So it was not, not cool, Ryan. You don't have any of those stories? Your life was so easy. Okay. Okay, moving I mean, on. I, <laughs> um, I don't I don't know. I don't know. As long as you were never that kid that told no, somebody that, that they were. I was weren't. very nice Good. to And you had chubby siblings. All people. <laughs> yes. Actually, okay. Megan's thunder thighs would yeah. own me in every wrestling match I we ever win. had. Anaconda. Yes. Would Anaconda, I would lose every round. You would die. It was great. Okay, who do we have it. next? Beautiful gal. What's her name? Anybody know? Nah. Hit it. Hi, Megan and Ryan. My name is Jordan. I'm a huge fan of the work and all the podcast. Hi, Jordan. Love what you guys are doing. Hi. Keep it up. And this is my question for Megan's trainer. So I've been trying to like kind of get into a good workout routine and I just can't seem to 
I guess stay motivated, like I'll kind of get discouraged if I don't see a lot of progress right away and I was wondering what your tips are on how to get over that. Thank you. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Hi, Jordan. So the biggest thing, the most simple answer that I could tell you is that um, when I'm not motivated, because there are days, believe me, there are so many days um, that I am not motivated. But when I approach those days, I remember, I always have to remember my why. Like, why am I there? Why am I doing what I do? Why am I working out? Right. And it's one of those things where like you want to feel better. And I always know that the feeling that I get, like the high that I get after I'm done working out, my goodness, it takes over every, you know, every um, thing that I thought before about not being able to work out or not wanting to work out or not being motivated. So I would, the biggest thing is just remember your why and remember that feeling that you're chasing after you're done working out. Remember that feeling and just get it in I mean that's the biggest thing that's the biggest thing that I do for myself and then also my clients because a lot of my clients will show up and they're like yeah I'm just not really feeling it today and then after the workout they're like thank goodness I did yeah. that yeah I always thank you I'm like thank you for abusing us thank today. you thank you for the abuse <laughs> exactly yeah I did not have a why before today <laughs> but afterwards the why I was, was like, why you know am I here? important yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> But afterwards, I'm like, fuck yeah, I feel much better. Good. Oh, yeah. I love that. Yeah. I also want to say to the, like, seeing results stuff, I've, I've like, lost a whole person, but I still sometimes have days where I'm like, I look exactly the same. So um, don't ob- t- try not to obsess so much of, like, is this working? Am I changing? Blah, 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 you know? Because, like, unless you do a real, like, DEXA scan and a full body scan, it's you're not going to see... It's but really also, hard to just see a difference. And also on that note, I remember like it was probably, um, I don't know, maybe five, six months ago where I would come and train you and you would tell me your weight every single day. Yeah. Every single time I'd show up, you'd be like, today I'm one, that, you know, whatever. And then it slowly just became, I feel strong today. I feel good. Like, you know, it wasn't about the weight anymore. Yeah. It was about how you feel. And there's definitely been like a mental transformation that I could see yeah. too from you. And I have people that work with me on that, like you and my nutritionist, Christy. Mm-hmm. She's like, you also have to like accept genetics and like what your body is yes. supposed to be. Like maybe I'm not going to be a 120 person ever. Right. <laughs> it's right. like I'll look and that's okay. different and that's cool. But Your like, body doesn't as long as I'm the healthiest ever, that's all that matters. Yep. I know Kelsey. Kelsey. Hey guys, it's Kelsey. As you know, I've been on a weight loss and fitness journey She's for these done past great. several months that I was inspired to start when Ryan announced that he was running the New York City Marathon. So this was me right around the time that I started wow. uh, working out. And this is me now. Woo-hoo! Let's go. 25 pounds down um, and very close to my overall goal. And I've noticed a lot of amazing changes, both mentally and physically. I've noticed that although I'm happier, both with myself and the way I look than I've been in years, um, I noticed my body image has changed because before I didn't really care. I didn't really take good care of myself. But now that I'm thinner, I noticed much more minor imperfections that although much better than they were before, I now notice them and they now bother me more. And I'm wondering if that's something that you've experienced yourself or if it's something that you've heard of and how do you combat that? Because it's it can get tedious. Um, thank you guys so much. I love you guys. I love Aww. you, Kelsey. She, she looks, looks fantastic. Yeah. Pretty awesome. She's amazing. That's awesome. Um, yeah, What's I guess your advice it's like, for that? So what's she saying? Because it's like you, you start to lose weight and you're like, oh, but I noticed this. Problem? What's the next? I yeah. want, I want. But that's yeah, like the yeah, human yeah. condition. You always yeah. want the yep. next thing. Yeah. I mean, me, yeah. Once I like I, like lost all that baby weight and then some, then I was like, I need new teeth. <laughs> and I need lashes. And I need it. <laughs> it's all of I mean, I, I'm guilty of it too. What yeah. do you have? Uh, advice yeah, how do you just like trust <laughs> the process I mean, and easier said than done man yeah. like i i agree i think we as humans our mistake in life is a lot of the i just i want more and that could be a blessing and a curse you know it could be a good thing but then also 
a a bad thing because you're you're never satisfied like you're never like nuts yeah so it's one of those things that it, there is a lot of like when like earlier when we were talking about you look in the mirror and a lot of people look in the mirror and they pick themselves apart like if you could look in the mirror and if you're picking yourselves apart self apart from where you were at and then now where you're at now um you know saying one negative thing but following it up with two positive things like oh i hate my stomach but i love how my ankles look in this dress or whatever it is you know what i mean <laughs> my ankles look fucking i love how, sexy. My, sexy how skinny ankles. my ankles are no <laughs> my thumbs are great today no but seriously okay, like you. if you yes, yes, yes. if you say one negative thing followed up with two positive things so and then basically put effort the good into outweighs being the nice. bad yes. and, yeah 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 exactly. yeah i mean like, be nice to yourself you get one body that's yeah. it 